Woods. Grrr. Why hate? Dang, man, you already know we. Back with another video, man. Hey, we got Lil Baby. The bigger picture official music video. Now. My granddad has not seen this video before. He doesn't really listen to hip hop. He doesn't really enjoy that music for real. But this was more of a meaningful video that he probably would actually enjoy because this video was by Lil Baby. The bigger picture just was like right after George Floyd died from his uh, situation that happened. Yeah, I'm about to just go ahead and show you. I'm about to go ahead and get into it. We about to just go ahead and go in. Ain't really much I gotta say, so we about to go ahead and go in. It's scary. <laughs> These these shots right here was so like moving. Like these shots right here was just so moving. These are real like like Lil Baby, he is a hood rapper. Because the music he made is, you know, it's usually, you know, regular rapper stuff. You know, money, chains, clothes, cars, girls. But when you come out with something like this, it's different. And then you gotta really listen to what he's saying too, because he not just he not Where just is he talking. From? He from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. That's why it kind of looked like this too. You can kind of tell that it's like a Georgia type vibe to it. judging by the mind of heart and he said I don't be judging uh by, like you gotta listen to what he said that was like He said he see blue lights, he gets scared and start running. He said this is crazy, they supposed to protect us. Yeah. <laughs> he said he gets scared and start running. Like He basically saying when they come to black people being together, they know that's a problem. They know when they come together it's a problem. It's a problem with the whole way of life. We gotta start somewhere. The only thing I fear. And I'm gonna let you know, there's really like rappers and stuff and uh, dudes out here where like they got bulletproof vests. Like you can just buy those, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they really, dudes really got, I even want one just to have one. For what? Because it is nice. It, it is a nice fashion. It is some fashion to it. <laughs> Just the one I got over there and see if you want to wear it. Like, but you see how that dude had on his? Yeah. That one dude. Trust me, you don't want to wear it. Like, like, uh, where are we at? He right here. I love these. You see how his got words on it? Mm -hmm. That's hard though. <laughs> That's clean. But I hate that. Why do, okay, how, sure how, how, how come the bulletproof vest don't cover the stomach though? Because he didn't want one to cover everything. He just got to protect his heart and chest. His stomach has got violent parts in it too. His stomach, he can, he can bleed to death. He can die from a wound there. 
But now if you look, I'll show you when we get yeah. toward the video. But he his is mostly for what can I say show? Yeah, it's called that coming. So come so in. this so the, it still protect your chest though. Right, it protects the chest part. And it protects the upper part of your lung. But from here, you see where he'll stop at. Yeah. There's no protection there for him down. So in other words, and you take like most people that aim at center mass. If you aim at center mass, you're protecting this heart, which is your heart and your lung. But still, you got your stomach here. You die from a stomach wound. I mean, you're going to have a bulletproof vest. You wear a protection. Now, what I got over there, I call it body armor. <clears throat> but it is body armor. That's mostly show. Yeah. It, it's mostly show. If he was trying to save his life, mm -hmm. he'd have no body armor. Yeah. It would be a lot longer. Um, and it takes the front and the back. And my body armor takes care of the side, too. Country, but we gotta stand up for something, so this what it comes Every video I see on my country, I got power now, I gotta say something The road the police been the problem I'm from, but I'd be lying if I said it was all of them I ain't do this for the trend, I don't follow them Altercation with the law, had a lot of them People speaking for the people, I'm proud of them Stick together, we can get it up out of them I can't lie like I'm a rapper by killing and dope And I'm telling my youngest to vote, I deal with that dig as I tell I know you like that part, I know you like that part And that was the end of that video. And you know what was the best part about his video was? He was encouraging people to vote. Yeah. Because this election is going to be really important. People that's got to go vote. And I tell you, you see the part where that was violence, where the cars was burning mm -hmm. and the smoke there? Now that is playing right in Trump's hands. Trump takes those videos, he cuts the bag of negative part out mm -hmm. the, and make it sound like all we're doing is riding, destroying property. They ain't showing the good part where people are protesting peacefully. Now I like his video, I really do. And I kid you not, it didn't have all those old abusive words in there. Yeah, because he, he, he couldn't listen. make, he, he had to make something. Like when George Floyd died, yeah. It was like certain rappers was like, okay, I gotta be serious. I gotta be serious. And this is little baby being serious. Like whenever you do something like when you see something like this, like he's like, forget the money, the cars, the clothes, forget all that. They killing people. That's what he that's how he got mad. That's what he, he was mad when he came when he got in that booth and made this song. He got mad. He was mad. Well his 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 rap has a message in it. And the main message that I took out that he was encouraging people to go vote. Come November the 3rd, if you got the roller in a wheelchair or a crawl, you got to go vote. You got to go vote. Yeah, this is one of the rappers that I, I, I don't listen to him a lot just because he has a, a funny voice. As you can tell, you can tell he probably had a funny voice. But... He's still, he's still somebody I would listen to. Especially when I, I when I heard this song, when he came out with this song, I had it on repeat. I had it on, it was too good. It was too How good of a song. Been out? You can see right here. Since June 12th. This is on his page, Lil Baby Official. June 12th, 2020. That's good. Yeah, that's when that happened. That's good. Because what I'm talking about, I'm sure, we need more rappers to come out and use some that guy with language too, where I don't mind listening to. But the point of this, I get And then you gotta stuff. realize rappers too, when they talk about stuff like yeah. this, oh, they gonna curse, cause they mad. I know. You know, they gonna I curse, know. they gonna talk. But uh, you know, 
but some though they go a little too extreme. And they from the hood too, so they gonna yeah. they gonna talk like that. They go a little They too mean extreme. what they say and they, they mean well. They mean well, they just gonna talk crazy. But rappers like him and more people that do rap use that same type message. Encourage young people, because trust me, you young people is gonna have to make the difference. Yeah. It's gonna take you guys. Y'all gonna be the tell the truth, you're really our future government. You're our future government. People of your age, everybody, male and female, y'all are our future government. After a while, you're gonna be trying to set the way, prepare for your children. Uh -huh. So you got to do it. Well, that was it for that video. That was Lil Baby, the bigger picture. Y'all already know what it is. R.P. George Floyd and all the recent people that didn't die from police brutality. Y'all already know what it is. This is my granddad. You already know this. Why hate gang? Wee! Oh!